Hi everyone. Today I didn't plan on using this gingham foundry so fast, but um, I got thinking about this picture that I have that has to have like a warm blue. And, um, and I had taken this picture. There's actually a double rainbow. It's kind of hard to see the, the top one, but it's, it's there. And um, this was like looking out my back, like I stepped out into the backyard and tried to get as, mo as much of it as I could. Um, I've, me and my husband now have both tried to remove the little bird that was actually flying by, <laughs> thinking it was something on the photo. But um, this is our shed, this is the neighbor's shed. Is that their new shed or their old shed? I don't know but and then there's a farm back here and so the rainbow was right over it just perfectly so um, anyhow I got the shot and um, in our neighborhood they had um, a they have a neighborhood Facebook page and <coughs> excuse me um, they were um, holding a contest to see um, well, not much of a contest. They just said, send in your picture if you want it to be the cover of the Facebook page. Anyhow, my husband says, oh, you got the picture of the rainbow. And he thought, it, he thought, um, I, he didn't realize I had this one. He just knew I had one from the front yard. Because the last times if it's raining, I don't know, usually it's in the front. I don't know, the, I always look there first. <laughs> but anyhow, this day it was in the backyard. So um, that's what I'm scrapbooking today. And so I'm using the beautiful My Mind's Eye Gingham Foundry. And this paper is the plaid with the floral on the back. And then I've got another piece of that. Um, I've got this piece that it's all the words. And um, well, it's got the off-white background, and then the, this side has a dark blue. I'm going to be using that. And then this paper, it has all the words to What a Wonderful World. So I'm going to use that, and you can imagine um, after I um, videotaped and realized all the words were there, then all I did was sing that all day long. <laughs> I, think, I think I do that because it's like um, I'm here a lot by myself, so <laughs> it's like... If I'm caught singing, I guess it's just okay. <laughs> oh, and I think I put my tape down too far. I did. Well, I've got another piece coming on here, so I guess that'll be all right. Okay, and now I'm going to just line this up with the top. And I was going to put the gold on the bottom, and it's like, well, I'm only using a little piece of this. I'm just so used to layers that it's like, and I thought, well, I can just put this on the top of this okay and then this here I'm gonna put next and I'm gonna put it just above that those words because I want to be able to see them Oh, I, and my tape is still too low. Let me see if I can kind of roll that back. I guess I better pay attention to my measurements here <laughs> when I'm taping. As soon as I did it, I thought, oh, that's too far down. Okay, I think that looks right. Let me check it with my invisible ruler. Okay, I'm still up a little too high here. Try it again. Okay, I think that looks good there. These papers are just so beautiful. I just love this. It's like, I love all blues, but this is my favorite. <laughs> My favorite shade that warm blue okay and I am going to put this somehow right around here but I'm gonna call it 
What a wonderful world. And I need to, let me check my, my cheat sheet here. Okay, and I think that would be right around here. I think that looks about right. And these were the letters that came with this, that sticker book that I purchased. I, I think when I found it, I actually didn't know it was, I just thought it was one sheet of stickers. So, um, oh, maybe I guess I wouldn't have paid that much for it if I, um, if I didn't think it had more in it. So I'm sure I thought I had, that there was more in it. Okay, and so I'm just going to place this down because I'm going to start my letters right on top of this. And I need my rulers again. Um, I'll go ahead and pause it while I do this because I know I take a long time. Okay, I'm back. I've got the title on there. And now I'm going to put down the picture. And I'm, I'm trying to um, kind of keep as much of the words showing as possible because I love them. So I'm just going to put it, am I putting it under this one? I think under this one. Yep, that's it. Okay. So just underneath here. And let me just double check to make sure that it is straight. Well, no, it's not. Okay. There we go. And then um, I've got this little strip here that I cut. And I'm going to run that right under here. And I'm going to put a fishtail on it. And Janet from RTS Scrapbooking, she showed us that how easy this works to make a little banner. I got a little tiny one. <laughs> okay, so I think I need to get a new um, cutter for my my cutter, a new blade for my cutter. That's what I really mean. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick this under here. Okay, and I've got this piece here, and this was on the, those sticker sheets. And at first I thought, is it a chipboard? Because it that sticker part did not even come off. And I had a hard time separating it, separating it but I finally did it. Okay, so I'm just, there's kind of this empty space here. So I'm just going to stick this here, and I'm going to get it pretty close to the edge so it's similar to this. And it says collecting all the beautiful moments. Oh, and while um, after I got the title down, I also looked up what the date was that I took the picture, and um, it was at 10:38 in the a.m. And that's why the rainbow is in the backyard because the sun was in the east. Okay, and it was October 23rd, 2020. Okay, and I'm going to stick this here, but I'm going to put it down ever so lightly because I'm going to stick this other little circle from the bits and pieces that Scylla had gifted me. And I'm just going to tuck it underneath here just for a little bit more color. Just because everything is so pretty, I just want to put everything on here, but <laughs> but then you wouldn't even see the beautiful paper. So um, this is also from the bits and pieces, 
and it's like a book plate. I think that's what they call them. And I'm going to stick that right up here, and I've already got the date on it. And then I've got this little butterfly. I've written everything on the left because I'm going to stick this butterfly from the sticker sheet up here in this corner. So that goes there. And then, due to my husband setting his plate on my paper, I had to find another sticker to cover up the smudge. I want you to know that I was punished for that too. <laughs> yeah, I gave him a severe tongue lashing. <laughs> okay, so um, from the sticker sheet, I found this little cluster of flowers. And I also have a, another butterfly. And maybe it belongs up here. I don't know, it seems like it needs it someplace now. Because now I feel like I only have two things, obviously. And so I am going to stick this kind of up here close to the edge. Or should I put it down here? I kind of want down the flowers, but I think it belongs up here. Okay. And I do have some enamel dots and just a smidgen because I'm just about out of dots. Well, the colors that I use a lot. So um, these are that warm blue. So I'm going to use what I have down here. So I think I'm going to put just two there because I've kind of got five things now. And I'm going to stick one of these here. I think I'm going to stick more here. And I'm going to stick one up here. And I'm going to stick some up here too. Am I still on the screen? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good there. Whoa. For a minute I thought it would just be there. <laughs> Stuck to it. Okay. I have one left, so I'm going to stick it up here. Because when it gets down to one, I just want to use it. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to stick it right up here. Because really, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. Okay. So there we go. That's my first layout with this kit that Scylla gifted me. And I love it. It's so beautiful. Thank you for watching. Thanks again, Scylla. And... Have a wonderful day. I will have close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.